the message that I want to give to the students across the country at this moment is we need to make one thing clear that uh, the student community can't be a political and neutral anymore. Uh, being a political or neutral will only help this fascist regime because they want exactly students to see the injustice happening to the other student community and not wake up to their call. And this has happened from uh, several years. That is why uh, privatization has been able to seep in. If in the first go, uh, we would have never allowed a student community, whoever was there in the student community would have never allowed privatization to seep in. Today, we might not have been in such a worse condition. So, uh, the message at this moment is we need to come out on the streets. There is no alternative. Uh, social media is not only going to create our alternative. We, leave, we want to leave messages. Obviously, we should leave because we understand the importance of media and social media. But as students, we have to organize uh, the other student community. We have to reach out to students. We have to make them understand that why as a student community it is very important for us at this moment to come out because somewhere the government is trying to uh, fix us into the question of what is national, what is anti-national, uh, what is CANR, CNPR, how much things can be beneficial or is it of any use for students to protest for CANR, CNPR. The question is we as citizens as students, we are also citizens of this country and we don't want the government to spend crores or rupees for its advertisement on CA and RC NPR, which is of no use to us. What we feel is something is used to us is our education. Why our fellowship is not seeing a single hike in the last six years? Why there has been no uh, new fellowship started for women? Uh, we, education for women could have been made free. Uh, why are no new policies been started for the marginalized section? Uh, hardly we see fellowships uh, coming for the marginalized section. So these are real questions. For the youth, it's about the job. Uh, the same uh, government which talked about true, promised about two crore jobs in its first term have not even uh, given an iota of jobs. Uh, leave alone, uh, if I compare how many jobs it would have given. Uh, so the matter is we need to talk against CA, NRC, NPR. But at the same time, we also need to uh, open up to the uh, community our questions that as students, what we think of an uh, country should be like, what is our youngest democracy should look like and that is exactly uh, the youngest democracy should look like uh, full of jobs, full of opportunities for the students who are contributing to the society at the end of the day academically or through their ideas and not uh, religious uh, inflicted violences uh, being inflicted by the uh, ruling party or religion based discrimination faced by the minority specifically the muslims at this moment that is not what we see as the idea of india